Uh, Should we play him the cowherd clip and get him to comment? Let's go. Well, first of all, yeah. Oh, you yeah, see if you can hire it. this kid away. Uh, this is they're, they're discussing Mac Jones. We're hearing some stuff on Mac Jones, and J-Mac and I are not going to talk about it on the air because uh, we don't want to yet. We're hearing things that aren't. You just alluded to it. We're not going to get into the specifics. We're just hearing stuff that isn't great. Is that fair? Don't, don't put me on camera for that. Let, let's let's um, change topics. Okay. <laughs> let's okay. go Packers Lions. Okay. Well, first of all, let's all bow to J Max skills as a broadcaster, and also uh, be careful. He sounds fairly manly. Well, I, I he should start uh, narrating things. A documentary certainly when the uh, when uh, finally uh, the guy from Shawshank Redemption dies. We can we <laughs> Morgan, have, Freeman. Like, Freeman. Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. He's, he's the guy he's the guy who created the big lead. You guys know that, right? Like remember the old website that wrote that um Oh no. That covered media uh, cover it covered like what it covered you guys, what it, like they cover all media. Oh well, and dude. it was one of the first ones to cover all media he could I mean he might be a nice guy, but his radio instincts stink. Well I'll tell you this is that <laughs> I, it's a, I wonder why he was covering he was put, it and not uh, doing it. I he was put in a spot there and didn't know that was coming, right? Uh, well, well he, he could he, I mean he could you know he should should, you know, he should be the new voice of NFL films. The frozen tundra <laughs> is coming. So it's, it's cold. Or do you yeah. know anything about what they're referencing? I mean, I assume it has to do with his dirty play and his love of testicles. Yeah, I mean, it. it <laughs> I like. I, I assume it has to do with what's happened over what happened on Sunday. How that relates to what's happened over the last two years with Brian Burns and Jaquan, Jaquan Brisker and Eli Apple, mm -hmm. and you know the obvious feeling i would say that you got watching some of the stuff on sunday where it's like just teammates have his back and i think that that's like that there, there's a fair questions there because i think look quarterback's a totally different position you know and th there's all kinds of stuff that happens under those piles you guys know that sure the difference is like if you're an offensive lineman doing it to a defensive lineman, that defensive lineman can get you back on the next play. Yeah. If you're a running back doing that to a linebacker, the linebacker can get you back on the next play. There's like a system. It's weird because that stuff, like there's checks and balances out there with almost every other position. Yeah. Whereas when you're playing the most protected position on the field, that's different, yeah. you know? And so I, I do know like, Quarterback. That's why quarterbacks generally don't engage in that stuff. That's why quarterbacks are generally careful about that stuff. It's like they know they play a privileged position. Yeah, there's like a and code it's privileged almost. in so many different ways that there are certain lines they can't cross. But you're but you said something how his own teammates reacted. Were well, there was that play you guys saw the. I think Bedard brought it up earlier in the week where um, someone slammed. Um, I can't even. Was CJ Mosley was it? CJ Mosley. Well, well, it was, was that slammed, play, isn't it? Slammed well, no, 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 no. It was a different play. Oh, so, the one where the at the end it just kept. Yeah. Well, I know so so about. yeah, he was trying to advance the ball on CJ Mosley, and they ne this is I keep referencing it. They never blew a whistle, and CJ was just able to it's like, like just slam just him to the ground, slam him to the ground, and hit him in the head, and it, yeah, really. And, uh, there was one guy who I him. think ran to Max defense ba barely, and and that was it. And generally in those situations, I mean, we've seen those situations before where a quarterback gets roughed up and there's borderline a fight out there. Yeah. Like you'll see five or six line, you'll see five or six taught guys to do like rushing to the quarterback's defense. And, right. and then, you know, it usually gets broken up or whatever, but it always looks like it's going to like could erupt into a brawl. Now, do you think that that is directly tied to him being known as a dirty player? Or is that more of his well, time with the Patriots and him being, viewed no, but as a I, leader? Think, I think it's, I think it's, you know, with quarterbacks, I think there's a certain like, we're going to defend you in a lot of cases. Like, there's a lot of things we'll defend you for. And there's stuff that maybe we won't. Did that Mosley know? thing happen after the nut tap, though? Yeah. Yeah. Did it? Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, like, look, like these guys talk on the sideline. I'm sure the Jets sideline knew pretty quickly what, what Mac Jones had done. Well, I mean, Sauce Garden doesn't seem like someone who'd talk. Yeah, so like I thought it was the himself. see. I thought that was the same play. I thought it's Mosley, not the same play. It is. It I thought because Mo, no, I thought no, Mosley body slammed him, and then when Mac uh, uh, went to go get up, that's when he did the nut tap to. I don't think so. And got pushed down. I don't think so. 
I think it's the same play. I I'd have to. Too. I have to look at that again. But because I don't if think it's it was. the same play, then if it was the same play. Then some of it makes sense. But why would why would the nut tap have? I mean, it, it's like here. The, here's the other thing. Like too much of this stuff. Again, like if there's like pushing and shoving coming out of the pile, if they're like if Mac were to like push somebody off him or hit somebody in the head, like coming up, that's like different than this. This just looked and seemed cheap, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, right, right. And it's just like, and it, and it looked and seemed almost premeditated. And I, like, I, I think like there's this competitiveness to Mac that he has to learn to control. And I don't know that he's helping himself very much. No, no, no. Because... This is about the worst thing you can do as a quarterback because we just talked about it. it, it all the defensive players, they're not going to lay up on you. You know, if, if they have an open shot on you, they are going to give you everything that they've and, got. And the Brian Burns thing, like, was really bad. I, See, thought. I thought Eli Apple was even worse. The Brian Burns one was bad, but because Eli Apple was going guy's low. I mean, Ooh. when you twist a guy's ankle like that, like, now you're going after a guy's, li like, livelihood. Yeah. Like, this, like, the Sauce Gardner thing doesn't rise to the level. Sure. Like, in a vacuum, it doesn't rise to the level of what you did to Brian Burns. Because Brian Burns, I mean, you twist that guy's ankle the wrong way. You could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do damage. You could, you know? up, yeah. Up you could, up. you could, like, you could cost the guy money. Like, uh, with this one, this one was bad to me because it's after all that other stuff, and it's after you have the chance to think about your actions, and it's after last year when David Andrews and some other guys had to go to him and talk to him about his conduct on the sideline. Mm -hmm. It's just there's so much of this, and it's. Look, the quarterback is the bellwether for the team. And we've talked about that story I've told you guys on Trevor Lawrence where I had a head coach tell me when the Urban Meyer thing was going on there, that kid's going to make it because of how he handled that situation because yeah. he stood tall and he didn't use it as an excuse. And he was sort of, as a rookie, like kind of the steady, steady like force for the team, right? Yeah. And well, do, well, do, Mac do, does do, not feel like that. You just don't. You're not right. seeing that real right quick. Do, so Mosley slams Mac to the ground, mm -hmm. and then when Mac is getting up, he nut taps. Yeah, it's the same play. It's the same play. It is the same play. It was the same play. It's just different parts of the same play. Okay, yeah. but it, but to your point, Bert, it speaks more of the because after Sauce pushes Mac down, Jones down. The Patriots walk away. Well, it almost seems like there would be more of a reason for your teammates to come and defend you after yes. Mosley body slams you. Right. Like, you yeah. would get there almost even before the nut tap thing could have even happened. Well, because there's a difference between... But it's difference. pretty... It's from, based on what Bert's saying, watching the video lends a lot of credence to it. Because Mosley just manhandles Jones, knocks him down. The Patriots kind of, like, walk over. And then Sauce, in, in, Sauce Gardner in, in the open field... Just knocks Mac down, and literally no one goes over there. Like literally, not one player. Goes Are you over hearing there anything the about his leadership being questioned in that locker room? Is there anything? You're... I mean, I don't think like so. I don't think his toughness is questioned. Well, it I think be, yeah. I, I think the guys like him. Oh, boy, right. Like I think all that. I think all yeah. that that is fine. But like I felt like last year, there was I would say a little irritation with the way that he was handling something that was a tough situation with the coaching and everything else. But he wasn't like the only one that was feeling the brunt of that. And yet he was the one who was freaking out on the sideline. He was the one who was sending messages through his press conference. He was the one. And it was like, look, like a quarterback can stand up there and say something. Mm-hmm. There's a difference between standing up there and saying something and what Mac was doing. Like it kind of came off as whiny. Okay, so and it kind of came off about it kind of came off as about this is affecting my individual performance. And is this relatively like new with in the NFL because I don't recall growing up players like like you know on the sidelines being demonstrative against the offense and against the quarterback. I mean, you've seen it with the Jets. You're talking about it with the Patriots. You've you you know you hear about it with other other teams. You know it's happening with the Bears. Yeah, 
This is is this is this as old as the NFL or is this well, I think relatively we, new? We definitely have more cameras now, and I yeah. think they catch more stuff. Sure, sure. And so I think that that's absolutely a part of it. There's just like less stuff that's secret now, just because of the amount of access we're all getting just by turning the game on. Right? Yeah, right, like right. So like that, I I think that this stuff has existed on the sideline forever. Um, I think it's a lot harder for teams to manage it now than it used to be because of that. Because, like, you know, more often the public seeing it, which means the media seeing it, which mm-hmm. means guys are being asked about it, yeah, yeah. which means it's getting up on social media, which is, means it's easier for it to become an issue for you than maybe it was 25 years ago. Mm-hmm. Whereas 25 years ago, something happens on the sideline, there isn't a camera there to catch it. So now the public doesn't know, the media doesn't know, and like two days later it's settled in a team meeting yeah you know now it's probably i would say because of all the cameras that are everywhere and because we try to turn everything into content it can become an issue much faster for a team and yeah i mean i think that definitely exists like there's that stuff on the sideline last year we saw all of it maybe we wouldn't have seen all of it 25 years ago and the and you can say, okay, well, then it's just us seeing it that that's the only difference. No, like the because we're all talking about it. They're because, being asked about it, and it builds on itself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No question.